Are you ready for another scrapbooking video? Today I'll be making the new layouts for my Stockholm holiday scrapbook pages. Uh, this time I'll be scrapbooking the photos I took in the King's Garden where I saw a lot of sakura trees. So most of my photos are in pink and I decided to use this pink washi tape as well along with some pink toned designer papers. Uh, these papers are actually from the same set that I used in my previous two layouts for the Stockholm holiday. So they'll actually be uh, cohesive among one another. Uh, so along with the pink papers, I'm also using uh, these little dotted bluish papers as well. Other than the washi tapes and the design papers, I also decided to use some plain papers as well. And I've selected uh, pink and blue because I thought they would look good with my photos. I'm not going to be using the plain papers on all the photos, but just some of them so that they pop a little more. And I'm again using my photo corners uh, that I always use in my projects to stick the corners of the photos to the backing paper. And for some of the photos, I will be doing uh, double backing. So I have both uh, blue and then I'll be using the pink as a second layer. And I'm using my glue tape to stick this part because it's easier for me. So after all the cutting and layering, uh, my photos are ready to be stuck on the backing paper, the A4 paper. And I'm making sure that they all fit nicely with one another one last time before I stick anything down. And because I'm using this thick washi tape, uh, I just want to make sure I have enough space in the middle to stick it on. Uh, so I'm starting with the bottom photos first. And once I line them up, I will be uh, doing a border above them with the washi tape. This is the first time I'm using these uh, Sakura themed washi tapes. I actually recently got them from an online store before we went to Stockholm. And I didn't even know we would be seeing so many uh, Sakura trees in Stockholm that it was a nice surprise and I figured they would match perfectly. Uh, so now I'm gonna do the border uh, between the photos and Ah, okay, it's so thin that I need to be careful when I'm sticking it down. Okay, now it works. Um, so I'm just doing it across the page, uh, starting from one side and making sure that it's straight. Uh, I can actually use a ruler to make this part work easier, but uh, after all that time scrapbooking, I sort of know when it's straight. And I just continue down the second page all the way and later on I'll be cutting the middle to separate the two pages from one another but when I put them in my binder uh, it will look like it's one straight line now that the tape is done I can actually move on to the topper part of my page and I just have two photos to stick and for this photo uh, I actually have a second washi tape that I thought of using and I try to match the lines in the washi tape with the, the branches of the tree uh, but it ended up not looking like I wanted it to so uh, in my final design I actually changed that but I wanted to show it because it's something different well for now I'm almost done with this side of the page uh, I'll be changing the corner later on but I'll just cut and stick the washi tape towards the back so that it looks nice and clean and now I can move on to the second side of my page uh, for this side uh, as I have initially selected I'm using the designer papers from the same set and as far as my photos go I get them mostly done in a regular size which is 10 by 15 centimeters or uh, 4 by 6 inches if I recall correctly um, but I only get one or two photos in that size for most of my layouts and the rest I get it in half of that so what I do is like you see in these um, photos with the grass the green toned photos uh, they actually two of them make up one regular size photo so in Photoshop I just uh, combine them as one pile before I send them for printing and this time I'm actually cutting them 
just slightly smaller so that I make sure that two of them actually fit onto the top part of my layout. Uh, having the photos printed smaller allows me to use more photos in my layout and that actually makes my pages look more vibrant. I just need to cut a little more to make sure that it fits and then I think I'll be ready to stick it down. And I first cut the image before putting the photo corners on uh, so that I make sure that I don't cut through the tape or have to replace it somehow. These photo corners are acid free so they actually don't um, leave marks on the photos but if you need to replace them it's a little hard to do without tearing the photo paper so uh, it's just an easier way for me to deal with that if I stick them after cutting it. It's actually very rare that I use a single backing paper for two photos uh, but these photos are taken in the same spot basically just one minute apart from each other that they uh, look very similar to each other and they look really nice uh, on the same paper and It's actually a little easier to place them like this That's why I actually ended up cutting them a little to make sure they fit rather than placing them separately and once I stick this on I'm pretty much done with the layout just a couple final touches uh, so I have an emptiness in the corner and I'm using my Say It With Stamps uh, alphabet set to write King's Garden and I started with the word garden so I make sure that um, it's in the middle and the letters fit and I'm using the same uh, plain papers that I used in the other side of the page uh, to make it more cohesive. And I'm done with my design and I quite like it. I use this paper pad as the backing designer papers and I use these two washi tapes at the end to fill the empty areas along with the border. And I use the flowers from the sticker set in between my text and I use the stamp set with memento ink for the stamping. And all in all I think it looks quite nice and it looks really nice in my binder as well. So if you have any questions, just drop me a line in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.